hello everyone welcome to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have uh, double nine seven double zero and two triple nine and its cube root so we can write this algebraic expression into the simplified form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we will show all of the working on this paper so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, so that now first uh, here we will take our given algebraic expression is equals to x so we take here our x is equals to cube root of double nine seven double zero two triple nine and now here in the next step we need to uh, remove this cube root from right hand side and you very well know about how to remove this cube root sign in order to remove cube root we need to take the cube on both of the sides so here we take this cube on both of the sides and uh, you see here in this form uh, so this is our cube now you see that uh, these two uh, this three and this cube root are uh, cancelled out by each other and we get here the remaining values are x cubed equals to double nine seven double zero two triple and nine so this is the over uh, q uh, this is the over uh, simplified form of the x and now here in the next step we break this value and uh, uh, we rewrite this value as here you see that we can just uh, separate the last four digits and we can uh, place uh, the last four digits equals to zero in this way so we have this is double nine seven double zero and when you separate these four digits here we can just place four zeros uh, and when you write this by uh, plus this is two triple nine okay and now you see here uh, this is uh, this number is this digit is written into the ordinary form and now here we need to write this number into the scientific notation now uh, here you see that the decimal point is here so when we move this decimal point here so that we just write this expression as double nine seven is multiplied by 10 raised to power of six plus here we rewrite this term as uh, uh, this is 2999 so we write it as 3000 and minus 1 so uh, now in the next step uh, here we need uh, more simplification so we write this 997 as uh, 1000 and minus 3 and it is multiplied by this is 10 raised to power of 6 and plus here we break this 3000 as uh, 3 is multiplied by 1000 and this is our minus 1. Now further in the next step we need to multiply this 10 raised to power of 6 on both of these values but here first we write this 1000 as a, a 10 cubed minus this is 3 multiplied by this is our 10 raised to power of 6 plus again we write this 1000 as a 10 raised to power of 3 and minus 1. And now here further in the next step we multiply this 10 raised to power of 6 on both of these values so when you multiply here it will be written as 10 cubed multiplied by 10 raised to power of 6 minus 3 multiplied by 10 raised to power of 6 plus this is 3 is multiplied by 10 raised to power of 3 minus 1 and now in the next step we need to apply here the nice algebraic formula and uh, according to this formula we need here you see that the bases are same so that we add its exponents uh, when you add its exponent we write it as 3 plus 6 becomes 9 minus this is 3 times of 10 raised to power of 6 plus this is 3 times of 10 raised to power of 3 minus 1 so uh, this is the value of x cubed and now here because we uh, solve this we simplified uh, the value of x into the simplified form so uh, it means that here in the next step uh, we um, we move forward with the help of this nice cubic formula uh, you know that if we have a minus b whole cubed it is equals to a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 times of a b into a minus b 
so now we if we first convert our right hand side in the form of this and after that we compare these two values and we combine our right hand side into this cubic form so uh, here first we write this 10 raised to power of 9 as we write it as 10 cubed and its whole cubed minus here you have this is uh, 3 multiplied by 10 raised to power of 6 so we write it as 10 cubed and its whole square plus this is 3 is multiplied by 10 raised to power of 3 minus this is our 1 and now here further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and we uh, rewrite these terms as uh, so here first we write the right hand side in the form of this cubic formula uh, so it will be written as first we write the term this is 10 cubed and its whole cubed now we can write here this term minus 1 so this is minus 1 we write it as minus 1 cubed and after that here we need to take common uh, minus 3 times of uh, 10 cubed and here we can just write 1 only into so when you take common minus 3 times of 10 raised to power of 3 from these two values we get here the remaining terms are this is 10 cubed square so when we take common 1 10 cubed here we get uh, 10 cubed and here we take common this plus so it will becomes here minus sign so we take common this whole term 3 times of 10 raised to the power of 3 and this is our 1 and this is minus 1 so uh, this is is equals to x cubed and now here uh, I can just um, write uh, this term more uh, clarified form here. So for this uh, here if we take a is equals to 10 cubed and we take b is equals to 1 then this expression is written as so when you put 10 cubed equals to a it will becomes a cubed minus 1 equals to b this is b cubed minus 3 times of 10 cubed equals to a and 1 is equals to b and again we have 10 cubed minus 1 is equals to a minus b and uh, uh, at the uh, sorry we can just write this minus 1 here okay so this minus 1 is not present here okay uh, so uh, now you see here uh, this is, is equals to the right hand side of this formula so that we easily combine all of these terms in this form so it means that we write a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 times of a b into a minus b uh, is equals to a minus b whole cubed. So this is the value of x uh, and now here in the next step we first need to take the cube root on both of the sides of uh, this equation. So uh, this 3 and this cube root are gone and we get x is equals to this 3 and this cube root are also gone and we get x is equals to a minus b. And now we back substitute the values of a and b. The value of a is 10 cubed. We put it here and the value of b is 1. Uh, so 10 cubed is equals to 1000 minus 1 and 1000 minus 1 is equals to 999. So this is the value of x. And we back substitute the value of x and our x is equals to uh, the given question statement. It is cube root of uh, double nine seven double zero two and triple nine is equals to triple nine. So this is the our final answer of the given question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.